A century and a half of learning on Chicago's South Side, which likely has never happened before. Grandmother and her granddaughter graduating together. It happened today at Chicago State University, and ABC 7's Ravi Bechwal was there to see the Barry family's big day, a day that's making us Chicago proud. They waited nervously in the raucous Jones Convocation Center for their names to be called, already acknowledging their unique achievement. Belinda Barry. 62-year-old Belinda Barry first, getting her bachelor's degree in business, followed by 25-year-old granddaughter Korea, a bachelor's in criminal justice now all hers. I've always stressed that education is power. Belinda Berry went back to school part-time to improve her employment prospects. It was never planned. We both enrolled back in school, and we didn't know that we were going to finish together because I was full-time and she was part-time. There was a friendly competition for marks. Grandma won. In fact, she was top of her class. What was the key to competing like that with all these young guns and all the rest of it? Well, I just feel like it, there was no competition to me because I knew that what I had to do, and I did it. She graduated uh, with a 3.8 GPA and health issues during her last two semesters. She is my inspiration. Korea begins in CSU's master's mental health counseling program in the new year. Belinda, too, is pursuing her master's. I would, would like to open up my own fashion boutique. I love fashions. I have a passion for fashions. <laughs> Their joint triumph, a highlight for this school, which has suffered financially, but that strives to live up to its mission to make higher education accessible. Diversity is valuable, not just for the sake of diversity, but for what it engenders to each of the students. In this 150th year for Chicago State University, University. This is a 361st graduation ceremony, but it's unprecedented to have a grandmother and a granddaughter graduating together. However, in the last five years or so, they have had a mother and daughter, they have had a mother and son, so it's not like it isn't a family affair here down on the south side of Chicago.